what's going on guys welcome to my channel again it's me philip perry today i'm bringing you a vlog from my latest trip to athens so finally greece. here in greece let me take this off so finally here in greece i thought we was gonna get tested temperature test there was no temperature test so uh we don't get tested in the airport i think it's all random so i did you just pick up pick people randomly um also, before you travel, you got to fill out this form, a uh, passenger finder form. It's a mandatory, so you have to fill it out before you touch down, especially in Greece. The, it, it has to be done for the Greek, Greek government, so they know where you are, where you're located, because if you don't have that, you're not allowed to fly. So getting into Greece be allowed to pretty uh, nice and chilled, very quiet, it's literally the quietest I've ever seen at uh, Athens airport. Um, this is my apartment. I basically stayed on uh the other side of glenfather side not the side of where the ocean is but just crossing the main street on the other side it's a lot cheaper you can find a lot more cheaper uh, apartments and stuff to rent so basically this is um the beach barlox project beach this is barlox this is a great beach it has a beautiful beach um great services you have um you know drinks by the beach um food by the beach uh, just get your beach chair uh, depending on the beach chair as well it, it's priced uh they charge you for it so basically from monday to thursday um it's cheap but when it comes from friday to, to sunday uh, ex uh prices really go up okay so if you want to visit the beach i also recommend monday to, to thursday oh man this is what uh, this is a wonderful restaurant as well um one of my friends um runs the entertainment here um so we went here a couple of times to eat to, to just drink to party but obviously because of the corona uh virus uh running rampant um things have changed especially in greece so now it's all table services and of course numbers of people going out has dropped as well oh man literally this is my favorite restaurant rivera coast i mean this is literally on on corner tip of grandfather and it's i mean it is fantastic beautiful scenery i mean if you get a table by the water i mean i would 100 percent recommend um going to this restaurant it's just food is fantastic atmosphere was great beautifully nice and chill this is the one of the best places to take a date or just go and hang out with your friends i mean it's definitely it's not cheap but it's i mean it's 100 percent worth it i mean food was excellent i mean atmosphere was great and I, I, I mean you can see by these plates i mean we, we were stuffed i mean from uh, the main course dessert wine i mean we had a fantastic time and most importantly the scenery the layout i mean it's outdoors i mean it's absolutely fantastic so definitely recommend you going here now this is um this is a lake just outside but i would say about 15 minutes outside of grandfather um you can see where it is literally on the coast and it's kind of hidden off the coastline um and this is the name of it i'm not even going to pronounce this but this is a fantastic lake and it's a must visit i mean you have to it, it's weird because the, all the time i lived in athens i've never actually been to this to this lake so so it was great going there for the first time and it's a great atmosphere again you can get uh you can get one of the sun beds uh table you can get um chairs whatever you want uh, close to the lake and you can get your food your drinks and literally you can stay there all day um so i was there for a couple of hours and this is going into the lake they have natural uh wildlife so basically as in like fish so a lot of the little small fish come up to you and just literally just eat all that dead skin off your feet so it's kind of like being in a spa but you're actually in the lake so this was this is an awesome experience and i'm glad i did it also with there to check your temperature so if you're having a high temperature or corona symptoms don't even bother because they're gonna check you so this is a great thing about uh, greece a lot of places with a lot of people they check, check your temperature and there's a lot of cleaning devices everything was kept clean so it was pretty awesome also now this is another one ryan so if you with this video is going to be a lot of beaches and restaurants because that's the two things i love doing so ryan's another way it's kind of like a mexican ish feel uh restaurant and it's food is fantastic um also off the coast of grandfather um, that was pretty cool and this is um one my ex teammate took me to this is literally um kind of up in the hills in the back of glenfather and this is by the marina um as you can see this is um loads of boats this is where the, all the rich folks um park up their yachts as well so basically um i forget the name but you just ask for where the 
where the, where the yachts, where, where people park the yachts in the marina. And you can go to this nice bar around the corner, go up the stairs, and it's got a nice view of the marina and of the beautiful Mediterranean. And um, uh, generally people go there for coffee and you go there for food. I, I didn't go there at night. I just went there in the daytime for like um, nice, some nice pasta. Uh, so that's real cool. Yeah. Then again, uh, you got to go into Grandfather, the actual center of Grandfather. And you go to all these various restaurants. This is a, this is a, a typical Athens restaurant and homemade food, homemade wine here. And the food is absolutely fantastic. It's a seafood restaurant. And I mean, for three people, we spent 80 euros. So imagine 80 euros for three people, that's great value. Um, and literally, this was my last day, just chilling at the beach. As you can see, the water is beautiful. This is the Mediterranean, and you cannot go wrong with Athens. I hope you enjoy. Any questions, let me know. Peace.